question on here comes from our colleague Nivesh, and he's he's asking us to reflect a little bit on the informal structures that we're seeing in organizations where colleagues with similar interests are working together. Um, and he is asking, saying that it might be worthwhile for headquarters to tap into the informal networks and to empower them um, to support innovation further. Any thoughts on that? Do you agree with him? Have you seen anything that works in that space? Yes, absolutely agree. I think Tina and I will both absolutely agree on this point that they should be empowered, that these informal networks are a way to actually bring in ideas. And, and as we mentioned in the, in this, in the slides and in our um, research that sometimes these in, informal networks are actually the ones that develop later on into formal networks. As we, we mentioned with Adriana, that was an informal network of three individuals that eventually led to the Innovation Lab. Now they have a fantastic space in the ITC building. They do a lot of uh, wonderful work there. So yes, uh, absolutely agree, agree with you. Lovely, Tina, did you want to add? No. Um, sorry, I was just having trouble to unmute myself. I'm just, I think a, a terrific example um, of this is Yang Yuan, right? Um, which is an informal network and was now kind of also granted a, a kind of, uh, you know, being a voice at the CEB, for example, right? So um, I think this is a, a perfect example of how the UN has managed to, you know, give more visibility to an informal network. So I think this is a, a very interesting example. 